Very interesting. Just a little tad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy. Mrs. Mrs. Lutz? Yes. Excuse me, uh, could I talk to you for a minute? I guess so. I, uh, I owe you an apology. Well? You did such a wonderful job on the wedding, and uh, I had to spoil it. I, I can't tell you how sorry I am that I was responsible for that ugly incident. But that still doesn't change things. No, you're right, it doesn't, and I, I cannot excuse myself. Perhaps the only explanation I can offer is that... Well, it, it was a moment of madness. I mean, surely you can understand that. I mean, obviously you're a woman of great... Passion, sensitivity. Well, I guess I am, but I don't know. I just want you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to make up to Luke and Laura for the embarrassment that I caused them. You will? Oh, yes, ma'am. I, I give you my solemn word. Oh, well, well, then I guess that I owe you an apology then for my toast, huh? No, no, not at all. We should drink to Luke and Laura. I heard what they did for the city here, and I, I'm truly impressed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, once again, I uh, like to drink to Luke and Laura. May someday they find it in their hearts to forgive me. if it'd be all right if I made a couple of phone calls. I know it's not the time, but it's, uh, it's real important. Sure, Joe. I've been dying to all day. Go right ahead. Investigating Diana Taylor's murder, remember? Oh, uh, yes, of course. The handsome Mr. Kelly. How are you? Well, uh, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I hope I'm not interrupting. No, we've already eaten. Turkey, I'll bet. How did you guess? <laughs> <laughs> but something tells me that's not why you called. No, ma'am, you're right. That's not why I called. Uh, first, I wanted to call and thank you for coming down to the police station yesterday to answer my question. Uh, secondly, I... I'd like to know if I could ask you a few more questions. Do I have to come down to the station? Oh, no, no, not today. No, I just need some quick information. Oh, I'll help if I can. All right, then, uh, if you would, tell me if you remember what the bus driver on the route that night looked like. I might, but I can't really be sure. <laughs> Did you see anyone in the room yesterday who looked like the driver? No, I didn't. But I must admit, I wasn't paying much attention to the other people. No, police stations. They're like hospitals. They make me nervous. Yeah, that's understandable. I'll tell you what. Would you mind meeting me at the bus station to see if you could make a positive identification? Uh, what time? Uh, how about uh, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning? Oh, I've got a cooking class. How about 10? Oh, fine. I'll meet you there. Thank you, Mrs. Yamato. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. They certainly turned out a lot worse than we ever could have expected. Heather in jail and now Ruby. Poor Ruby. Hey, Leslie, can I fix your drink? No, I want to I wanna have a clear head in case they need me for something. I think I better go take a look at that turkey. We are oh. going to have to eat sometime. Yeah, thanks, Alice. Look, let's uh, just keep the faith up. Wherever Ruby is, Luke and the others are going to be with her. I don't understand how this could happen. Well, it does, Luke. Sometimes an ambulance starts out in one place, they end up at another hospital. 
But Leslie said they already admitted her here. I know it's strange, but it does happen. Come on. General, yes, I uh, need to talk to uh, emergency admissions, please. Thank you. Yes, this is Dr. Rick Weber. I need to find out right now if a, a Ruby Anderson was admitted to emergency any time in the last couple of hours. Waiting was never my very best thing. How long is it since they left? Mm, half an hour, not long. Oh, it seems like forever. I got it, I got it right. Hello. Hi, Les, it's me. Hi, how is she? She is not at Mercy Hospital. They never admitted her, and they don't know anything about a woman being hit by a truck. Uh, did, did you uh, try general? Yes, I just got off the phone with Georgia. She said there hasn't been any emergency admissions, including repairs. That's impossible. I think there couldn't be a mistake, could there? Well, not on this end. We're at Mercy, and... Well, I am at Mercy. Look, we know she's not here, and everyone in general knows Ruby, so... That... All right, okay, so, so, um, what about private ambulance companies? Well, Luke's on the other phone checking right now. And Bobby tried the apartment again. There's still no answer. How? What do we do now? Okay. Thank you. I wish I knew. What, what, what do you think we should do? Ruby! No. Oh. They're looking at a ghost. Ruby's here. She just walked in the door. Ruby! Oh. I see that Luke and I couldn't Leslie, play. are you there? Uh, yes, Mr. Bell, I'm still here. Oh, yeah, I know how kids come here on Thanksgiving. <clears throat> right, it, it's the bus station. Uh, I know... I know, sir, it's a bad day. Yes, sir, I know, but, but since the driver on number nine refuses to cooperate with us further, going to the bus station is going to be the only way we can get an identification. Great. Thank you. I, I'll see you there. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, sir, thanks. Bye. Well, no more phone calls to make? Oh, I'm sorry, but it was important. Having no sense of propriety. Here it is, Thanksgiving, a national holiday, if I'm not mistaken. And you are spending half the time on the phone working on Heather Weber's case. I said I was sorry. Well, that's not good enough. Then just what is good enough? We're about to sit down here and, and enjoy a sumptuous meal, and there's a woman locked up in jail, an innocent woman. Have a little compassion, compassion? would you? Compassion? For Heather? <sighs> Give me a break, Joe. That woman has everything she deserves coming to her. I don't believe you. I really don't believe you. Why? Because I'm making a stand. I'm expressing an opinion. Joe, you know I've taken off my goody two-shoes. Mm, apparently you put on an executioner's hood. It's not fair. It's not fair? What's fair about Heather spending Thanksgiving alone in jail? What's the difference in here, out there? She has still ruined our day. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, are you two quite through in here? I don't know. Ask Joe. Don't look at me. Oh, come on, you two. You're acting like a couple of children. Will you please apologize so we can go and have a nice, quiet dinner? Come on. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Joan? <laughs> Maybe... Maybe it was a bad choice to make my business phone calls. I apologize. Well, now that's better. After all, it's Thanksgiving. We have all kinds of things to be thankful for. Not the least of which is being alive and breathing. Now, come on, huh? Dinner's almost ready. Go on back in. Hey, speaking of football, that Notre game minute starts in 15 minutes there. Uh, hey, what do you say there, Eddie? Huh? Your champagne, and I'll have a couple of beers, and uh, we'll go watch, huh? If you insist, Charles. Hey, hey good. Where's the tube? Uh, uh, it's right in here. Hey, good. Come on, baby. Gail, please, help. Oh, all right, Edward. We'll be there. You want to see the game anyway? Yeah. Not interested in football? Not right now. Oh. Would you like a brandy? Why not? Here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what do you think of the little gathering? Amusing. Port Charles has become more of a colorful place since I've been away. Well, now that sounds as though you're going to stay. Well, that's a general idea. Well, then Gail is right. You're going to go back and uh, practice with your father? Yes. 
We both agreed to it. <laughs> That's funny. I would have thought you would want to stay as far away from Port Charles as you could possibly stay. This is my home, Monica. Yes, but you're not exactly Port Charles' most popular citizen. Perhaps. But I was born here. And I was raised here. And I know a lot of people here. And a lot of them were my friends. And if I can prove myself to them, maybe they'll be my friends again. What? Oh, uh, I was just wondering whether to believe you or not. Well, what reason do you have not to believe me? I don't know. Just I've known a lot of liars in my time, and people say I have a pretty good judge of character. Well, then I'll leave it up to you. Now, if you excuse me, I promised Brian that I'd stop by Claudius for dessert. Would you tell Mrs. Quartermain thank you? Certainly. So long, Monica. So long, Scotty. Then what happened? I came here. I ran all the way. Thank you. It's incredible. It's just incredible. Something is going on. Are you sure Luke's all right? Uh, he can tell you himself. Oh! I thought we lost you. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. <laughs> you know, what, oh, darling. What happened? <laughs> Why do you hear this story? You're not going to believe this. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what, what was it? Tell, me, tell, tell us. They, they said you were hit by a truck. Yes, Leslie, tell me about oh, that phone call. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Everybody sit down. Go over here and... Oh! Oh! Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, uh, I need my drink. <laughs> oh. It started this morning at the apartment. I was getting ready to come here, and this envelope got shoved under my door. A note. And it said that they were holding you in a warehouse. And if I didn't come here, they were going to kill you. I don't suppose the note was signed. No, but it said Frank Smith never forgets. Frank Smith? Uh, don't get upset, baby. It's very common knowledge, my connection with the mob. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything at all. What happened when you got to the warehouse? There's no one there. Except for a tramp. Amy, let Ruby tell it. Amy's right. There was this tramp, but he, he didn't know anything about any of this. He must have been at the warehouse at the time we got the call. You'd been in an accident. Someone went to a lot of trouble to put her thoroughly out of reach. What a prank. Now, who would do something like that? And why? I think I've got a very good idea. Luke, I know what you're thinking, but Scotty isn't even contesting the divorce. Why would he go to all that trouble and pull a trick like this? Doesn't make sense. Huh. I'm thinking that maybe Helena Cassidyne left a goon or two lying around. Well, the Cassidines always have had a penchant for cruelty. Well, what about the Frank Smith comment on the note? No, uh, I wouldn't worry about that at all. If Smith still had the power to get rid of me, I think he would have done it a long time ago. Sounds like a diversion to me, something to throw us all off the track. You know, I really hate to bring this up, but um, Luke and Laura are now public figures, and I know from experience that once you're in the public eye all the time, I mean, there are crazies out there all the time running around, just thriving to harass famous people. I hate to say it, but she could have a point. <laughs> well, well, that's the, the wonderful thing to deal with. Well, right now we're all going to have to deal with turkey and stuffing and gravy and cranberries. Yeah. And oh, boy, am I hungry. <laughs> forgot good. about oh, Everybody, yeah. 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 go inside. Good take my wine. Call me when dinner was ready. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, kid. A lot of crazy things started happening around here. You mean I missed a turkey? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just getting ready to sit down now. It's perfect timing. Hungry? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Come on, baby. Oh, oh my boy. girl. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, Mary. Oh, oh. Yeah. I hope you don't mind, but I put one of the turkey things aside to take to heaven. Alice, you take anything you want for heaven. There's enough for everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Problems. 